Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to solve a problem which was asked during Capgemini interview. The candidate had two years of experience working as a Java developer and when he solved this problem, he was selected and when he got selected, he was offered a CTC of 8 LPA, that is 8 lakhs per annum. Okay, now let me describe the problem statement. Uh, so he was asked to write a Java program to merge two sorted arrays and he had to make sure that the result is also a sorted. Okay, let us consider this as an input. Uh, array one uh, contains these numbers and array two contains these two num five numbers. And he was expected to have output something like this. So this output is nothing but a merged array and this merged array contains all the elements which are in sorted order. Okay, to implement this, uh, now let me start writing the code. Okay, so if you see, I have written a class uh, merge to sorted arrays and inside that I have written a main method. Okay, now uh, let me start creating two variables or let me create first array which will hold the first array. Uh, let me declare a variable of type array. Array one is equal to, and I will copy the elements which are there in our notepad. Let me declare another variable array two equal to. This is going to hold my another array. If these arrays are sorted, uh, it is okay. If these arrays are not sorted, we can sort those arrays and uh, solve this problem. Okay, so first array contains this element. Second array contains this element. Okay, now we have both arrays and these arrays are already sorted. So I'm not going to sort it. If it was not sorted, you can use uh, one method like arrays.sort that will help you to solve all the arrays. Now I will declare one more variable which will be used to combine both arrays. Okay, so initially uh, I will make it as a new integer empty array okay and it will have a size as the length of both, both arrays array dot length plus array two <coughs> dot length so this array will hold all the elements from these two arrays now what i have to do i need to copy these two arrays into final array for that there is a function which is provided by system. So system dot array copy is a function which can be used to copy the elements of one array into another array. So let me show you how to do this. System dot array copy. This text, this function takes five parameters. First parameter is source, object source. So this is going to be our first array because we are going to copy the first array. Then second is source position from which we need to copy the array so we need to copy the array elements from zeroth index then destination array destination array is nothing but the array into which we need to copy the elements okay so we are going to copy the array elements into final array then we have to mention from which position or from which index we need to start filling the destination array that is final array so here again i am going to start filling this array from zeroth index and i need to mention how many elements i need to copy into destination array so here i am going to mention all the arrays elements right so i will mention array dot length because this array dot length gives me number of elements which are available into array one okay so here this statement is going to copy all the elements of array one into final array similarly i will copy all the elements of uh, second array into final array system dot array copy again here i need to specify what will be my source array so source array is my second array i need to mention the position from which my array elements will be started so from zeroth position of second array i need to copy the elements now i need to mention the destination into which my arrays elements will be copied so this is going to be final array now i need to mention the destination position at from which the array should be uh, start, uh, array position or array indexing should be started so here we have already copied the five elements from first array right and that is nothing but 
uh, now i need to start filling the array from sixth location for which i'm going to mention array one dot length okay so this will start filling the array from fifth index because if this array contains five elements so the indexing will start from zero one two three and four so here i need to mention five and that is nothing but the size of the array and how many elements i need to copy here array dot array two dot length because i need to copy all the elements of this second array now i have copied both arrays into final array okay what i will do i need to sort this final array because we have a requirement that the array elements should be sorted in the final array okay so what i will do I will is simply arrays dot sort method which will sort the elements of my final array okay now i have array, uh, sorted all the elements of the array final array and uh, we have the expected output so we have uh, the expected uh, result so i will uh, simply try to print the elements of this final array okay so i will use for loop for integer element into final array okay and i will simply use System dot out dot print ln to print the element of this array. Okay, so here you can see element, and what I will do, I will simply use space instead of printing every element on the new line. And now let me run the program and see what will be the output. So here you can see uh, we have the final array elements, and all the elements are in sorted order okay so guys uh, that's it from this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you bye bye